I've also read the contact numbers for normally open and normally closed and the coils on the 12 volt relay we're going to be using in this build and I will draw that right now for you. First what I'm going to do is draw off to the side exactly what the drawing looks like on the top of the relay. Okay, now that I've drawn the diagram that's on the relay, I'm going to explain to you what it means and I'll zoom in on this for you while I explain it. Okay, so what this drawing means is first we'll start with the coil. You have 13 with a negative sign in parentheses and then you have 14. And this square here represents the coil. You're going to find that every diagram is different. But you should find something similar to this drawing. So what you have here for the first set of contacts is you have terminal number one. And if you look at the block that your relay plugs into, you will see that all the screw terminals, you'll have your screws, and above them they'll have numbers. They'll have one, two, three, four, and so on. Not necessarily in that order. So getting back to this, your first set of contacts is screw terminal number one and to find a normally closed contact if you follow this down it shows your contact points here and the line is drawn on this side of the one which is normally closed which comes down to screw terminal point number nine so what that means there is terminal one and nine equals normally closed. Then if you look at the first position again, screw terminal 5 or terminal 5 comes down to this side and there's no contact between it and 9. So what that means is screw terminal number 5 and screw terminal number nine is normally open. Which in a lot of cases, these symbols are represented like this. So for example, you could have on a relay, it could show you symbols like this. That would be normally open. And this would be normally closed or NC and O and also like I said before coils can be represented like this and that would be a coil so let's get back to this explanation again so as we can see on the first set of contacts pin 1 and pin 9 has a complete path through it that would make it normally closed. Pin 5 and pin 9 have no contact between them so that would be normally open and as you can see it goes the same for the rest of these. So what you would have here is on the next one pin 2 and 10 is normally closed. Pin 6 and pin 10 is normally open same thing on the next one. Pin 3 and pin 11 normally closed. Pin 7 and pin 11 normally open. And on the next one, pin 4 and 12 normally closed. Pin 8 and pin 12 is normally open. So there are all your connections if you buy this exact relay.